for figure B3-10 and further into chapter 3 you should be getting comfortable with the sketching and the sketch relations. Still expecting to have a, a few issues, a few frustrations along the way. And you should be looking at these parts with the eye on do I generate the profile or do I go for a contour and region. So we're going to alternate and try and make some good decisions on where to use uh, contours and regions and where to go where to go ahead and just generate the sketch. Also <clears throat> there's um, nothing that says everything has to be driven in the, um, uh, the front plane so um, if it's convenient that this profile is in the front plane then great. Um, this is probably what I would uh, go ahead and do is draw the uh, the front uh, front shape, but it's not a, a given that you have to do that. We could draw the the base and extrude it up with uh, the holes in it if that was more critical to our design intent. Uh, we could draw the right side and bring it out and cut a couple of uh, notches in it. It's um, it's just a matter of uh, building in uh, some logic. Uh, what you think you will ultimately be doing with this part and and when we were starting with a uh, a clean uh, slate a clean screen and we're doing the designs from our imagination it's pretty much you start where it makes the the most sense because it's just a best guess anyway that until we start to put all of the pieces to the puzzle well we've got to build the pieces first and then we put the pieces to the puzzle together it'll start to uh, make some sense and in that um, evolution where we go through and we design check and we error check and we refine the uh, the overall structure uh, we'll um, get it to a, a workable point. Alright so we said before that if there's no depth call out then we're going to assume that the diameters are through so two holes at 20 and then the, uh, the hole through at 30. The notch in the front could either be drawn on the front face or the, the top face. The front face would be extruded into the, uh, the hole. The top face would uh, be extruded down to a depth of 15. So this is a metric part. So let's go ahead and get our metric template up. And I'm going to stay traditional with this one, and we're just going to pick the bottom left corner. Again, the origins at this point are not critical. Uh, wherever wherever we want to put it. Uh, this one is a, a good, I think I've illustrated where if I drew it on the front plane at the midpoint, then I could extrude it midplane, and I would have the origin at the bottom center of the part. Sometimes that's an advantage. All right, so... Uh, plain sketch and because of the oddball shape we'll give it a length we're at about a hundred millimeters so I'll get it close rough sketch in our geometry since that one missed just a little bit overran it um, don't particularly care that uh, I have that angle because I can always jump over and say go ahead and make it vertical all right, so I get the sketch in. I've inferred a bunch of relations. We're ready to start putting in our dimensions. All right, so 130, 15. And when it shrinks like this, I'm using the middle mouse button scroll wheel to scroll it up into a more visible position. And then we can come back out to zoom to fit or hit F on the keyboard. Uh, let's see, what do we have for uh, for width? We have uh, 40 and 30 on the edge. And you should be getting more comfortable with picking the, uh, the objects. And then where it's not uh, uh, available to pick a pick an object then being able to go between two objects and then last a point and an object or point and point. So following that hierarchy and and knowing where and when those um, those come into play to uh, to place your dimensions. 
All right, so that gives me my shape. And even though it's on the corner, if there was an advantage to having it on center line, maybe those holes line up um, and we want to uh, to build that in, I could still go with um, a midplane. It would be at the left center of the part. So you have uh, to make those choices um, building into this, uh, this geometry. All right, so 50 millimeters on our depth. It's going to come towards us, your choice, whether it comes forward or back, and we'll go ahead and accept. All right, so for the through holes, there may be times where they need to be independent. Um, I have the choice of drawing on the front plane, or I'm sorry, the top, the top face, or the, um, the top plane at the, the bottom, and would extrude up. That is kind of more intuitive. It makes sense that you're drawing on that complete face. But it's not 100% necessary. We can open up the sketch. And we do have to make some decisions that if this, um, uh, if these holes are always going to be centered uh, mid-plane on the part, I uh, didn't get my click there, there we go, then I'm probably going to want to um, use a uh, relation, otherwise we would use the dimensions. All right, so I'm gonna find a midpoint. Now, if this midpoint, something happens and it disappears, all right, we'll get the, the select, so I right click, select the midpoint off of the in context menu, hold down the control button, select, 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 and then those are all gonna be horizontal and they shift into position. And again, what that does is it will move any of the geometries will move left to right, but not up and down. All right, so for its position, I'm not seeing the dimension, but assuming it's centered, oh, 13 on both sides. So assuming centers would have been bad. All right, so 13 and 13. and 20 and then we'll put the uh, the hole through at 30 all right and the, the last then since that can move that can't move all right so the center points can't move but my diameter still can so with that one highlighted i'm looking at the blue Coming over, the preview is in orange, and when I selected it, the uh, the perimeter will go to blue. Then we'll set those to equal. All right, and then I should have the fully defined. All right, so <clears throat> again, grabbing a center point, it's able to move left to right. The circle cannot grow or shrink, so the diameter is in control there. Um, I have a couple choices. I could draw a center line from midpoint to midpoint. I can also select a midpoint, and if I want it centered on that face, then control selecting the center point and making it vertical will get me there. All right, so if I rotate over, I can see that the two circles are floating out in space. And if I go into an extrude cut, and let's just say we're going to make this uh, a blind hole of 10 millimeters. Well, the outside two aren't contacting anything, and they may generate an error that terminating uh, cannot terminate into the feature. And sometimes that occurs when it's going the wrong way. Um, this one probably would complete. It just sees the first, and it doesn't see the other two. We're going to right click, edit the feature, and then I'm going to switch to through all. So very few of your selections are permanent that you can always go back and make the modification and adjust the geometry. So I'm going to put the, uh, the corner rectangle on the top. All right, so just picking the top face, opening the sketch. I'm going to right click on the line and select its midpoint, hold down the control button, and then these are going to be, oh, did not make the selection, <laughs> would help it to hit the left button. 
right? So highlighted in orange, but it still didn't select. There we go. So highlighted in blue. And when I make it midpoint to midpoint, then we're going to go 20 millimeters. And pretty much I can either tie it to the circle, tie it to the center point, but probably picking one of the, um, the vertices of the rectangle and bringing it in to be coincident with the, um, the edge of the circle is going to be about as easy. Okay. Features, extrude cut, and then this has a depth of 15, so I don't need an in condition. And then that gives me my shape. Alright, so part of the visualization is if we need to make this look like the, the part that we have that, uh, that capability. So let's go ahead and save this. And we are going to chapter 3.1. And again, the, the assignment is for 3.10 through 3.22 for chapter 3, part 2. Um, if you have the, the time and the motivation, do all of them. All right, more seat time, um, you'll, um, you'll make uh, uh, more decisions, uh, make more errors, find solutions to those errors, and develop faster.